here by the name of Phil Johnson. The whole bag of tricks. Here we go. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Everybody doing all right? You guys in the corner? You guys in the second corner? All right. <laughs> My name is Phil Johnson. It is nice to have you here. Um, I know what you're thinking, and you're like, this guy loves gangster rap. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> oh, 90s gangster. Oh, you got to be good. Like 90s gangster rap. I like it because, yeah, it's so relatable. <laughs> no, that's the thing, like, like, today was a good day. I didn't have to get my AK. <laughs> Are you telling me that's not relatable? <laughs> You're telling me that's not relatable. <laughs> You know what I think it is? I, I think it's, I think it, the, why that's relatable is because um, honky tonk country music is exactly the same as gangster rap. And everyone who loves either of those things will be like, no it's not. <laughs> but alright, so I'm going to tell you a, uh, I'm, I'm going to explain the lyrics of a song. <laughs> And you get to tell me whether that was honky tonk or gangster rap. <laughs> so it starts out that this song was inspired by uh, someone who loves their hometown. <laughs> Very beautiful. Um, uh, then, then they go on to to tell you about the uh, very specific shoe wear they put on. <laughs> and walk out to the vehicle, which they explain to you in great detail. <laughs> After that, they say some really um, problematic things about women's roles. <laughs> And then they finish it up by telling you how hard they have to work to um, sell this particular crop. Thanks to rep for honky tonk, you just said. Uh, I had a segue there, but I... It's a... Uh... Uh, oh, oh, uh, yeah, uh, and, and, that, and that's because, like, <laughs> if I, <laughs> so, 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 I, it's 2021. It's time we talked about the Power Rangers. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Listen, they, you know, I, I don't want to be the one to cancel them, but it, <laughs> maybe, maybe if I could have some help here. Uh, <laughs> The Power Rangers, I, if, if you're not familiar, you're too young. Uh, the, the, the Power Rangers were, it was a show in the early 90s uh, about 30-year-old um, junior high students. Uh, and who were like crime fighters. Uh, the important part is, is the outfits. It, it was a fashion show. That's it's, it's what it was. And, and, the, and the, way, the way it worked was, um, 
you know, the, the, uh, the Yellow Ranger was Asian. <laughs> And, and, and like, you know, the, 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 the pink ranger, like, spread her legs all the time. <laughs> the, the black ranger was black, and, uh, and, and the blue ranger was, like, a real downer. <laughs> What's the point? We're just, gonna, we're just gonna have to fight guys in rubber suits tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, and oh, and the Green Ranger, he was he was just green with envy over all the other Rangers, <laughs> and, and 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 eventually he got so green with envy that he became the White Power Ranger. He <laughs> <laughs> uh, swastikas. I don't know what he did. <laughs> um, right, but that's what we teach our children, and and this is something we. Like this is something we should learn. Is I I read a, I read a book the other day. I read a children's book. I know. Yeah, good on me. Nice. <laughs> I I read a children's book the other day. You, you guys ever read Green Eggs and Ham? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think it's about consent. <laughs>
a treatment path you must now choose. <laughs> Although, to be frank, either way, you will lose. <laughs> if you seek a second opinion, I recommend Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Uh, there he is. He's coming. Yeah, come on, come on. All right.